Greetings everyone and welcome to yet another update video. Yes, uh, all Blu-rays this time. Not a DVD in sight. We won't have any of that standard deaf stuff here on Fright Night Friday. Alright, so let's get right to it, shall we? we got a whole bunch of sci-fi and horror and some sci-fi horror kind of... Well, you'll see what I mean. You, you can classify it however you want. It's basically sci-fi horror. We're just going to call it that as a blanket term. Um, yeah, so let's check them out today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. Okay, starting off here. Uh, I had always meant to pick these two Blu-rays up kind of together. And that is exactly what I have managed to do. So first up, we have Barbarella, Queen of the Galaxy. Now, apparently this is not the greatest quality Blu-ray, but it's, it's all we have, alas. And it was cheap, so I can't really complain too much. There is nothing on this. This is as the theatrical trailer. Great. Good job, guys. I do like that they use the original poster art, though. It's an awesome painted cover. Very nice. Um, I have not... Oh, there you go. I can win a trip with Delta. Awesome. How long ago is that contest? Um, well, copyright 2012. That, that trip has probably come and gone by now. Anyway, um, here, as always, because uh, you know they go all out with their disc art, here's the beautiful disc art for Barbarella. Thank you very much, Paramount. Appreciate it. All right, so this was, uh, this was the first one. And then what else did I want to get? Well, because it's peripherally related, because it has a beautiful woman on the cover and it's a sci-fi movie, Galaxina! <laughs> and... Uh, double feature with the Crater Lake Monster. I've not seen the Crater Lake Monster before. I had not seen Galaxina before. I have seen Barbarella before. Um, so I popped this one in basically as soon as it arrived. And uh, it's basically a sci-fi parody. It's very tongue-in-cheek. Definitely what you would call a groaner. Some of the humor is very forced and very, well, groan-inducing. It's like, really? Did they actually just make that joke? Really? Um... But there's there's some genuinely funny bits in here, too. Overall, just a fun, cheesy, very self-aware uh, sci-fi comedy, like low-budget sci-fi comedy that isn't terribly funny, but it's it's just strangely charming. It just has this charm about it. Anyway, uh, I enjoyed it. So there you go. And this is a Mill Creek release. Um, yeah, so I had actually meant to get these two for a very long time, but then for some reason, this double feature... Uh, skyrocketed in price for a couple of months. It went up. It's normally like seven or eight bucks, um, but for a couple months there, it, it, it like skyrocketed to like sixty, seventy, and was only available to third party sellers. And I was like, oh crap! Did I miss it? Did it go out of print? But then it came back at regular price, and I thought, okay, I'm gonna make sure that just on the off chance it's a sign it's going out of print, that I don't miss out on it. So I. I snagged it this time around. And I was able to do my original plan of getting these two at the same time. So, hooray for just random pointless plans that really hold no meaning whatsoever. Next up, really enjoyed the original. Wanted to check this out because it's uh, uh, basically produced by the man who brought us the original. We have Roger Corman's Death Race 2050. Yes. Very cool. So I've been very curious about this. Uh, I know there there is another remake of this, the one with uh, Jason Statham, which I have not seen. But this is the, this is the real remake, as far as I'm concerned, because this is the one that actually involved Roger Corman. Uh, so that's the one I've been most curious about. I've actually not seen the Jason Statham ones uh, at this point. So this is Universal. It's a DVD Blu-ray combo pack. Red for DVD, blue for Blu-ray. There you go. So, all right, I may have... Okay, so there will be some DVD in here just in the form of the combo packs, but you know I bought it for the Blu-ray side of it, right? So, 
Anyway, so very cool. Death Race 2050. Looking forward to that. Really enjoyed the original. It was uh, sent to me by a viewer quite some time ago. It was the first of the Shout Factory Roger Corman collection that I actually got. And um, thoroughly enjoyed it and bought all the uh, pretty much all the rest of the Blu-rays. At least the ones I was interested in. And uh, yeah. And next up, uh, we of course have the... Uh, I don't want to say remake, because it's not really a remake. It's just another adaptation of the novel uh, coming to the big screen uh, very soon. But, of course, it originally graced our small screens back in 1990. And, of course, talking about Stephen King's It, which recently got a Blu-ray release. This uh, was released on Blu-ray around the same time. Uh, it was kind of paired up with Salem's Lot, which also got a, a Blu-ray around the same time. So pretty cool. I've not picked up that one yet, but I will at some point. So next up, um, let's see. I did a video about, I think, the first four of these a while back and uh, talked about how, hey, I don't care what anybody says, I like them. Uh, and then I got the fifth one when that came out. Now, the thing that kind of irks me is I got the first five in Steelbooks because Future Shop at the time was offering exclusive Steelbook releases. They were uh, Some of them were ca Canadian only Steelbooks. They were like exclusive to Future Shop here in Canada. Future Shop is of course gone now. Uh, either gone entirely in some areas or swept, sw swept over to a Best Buy. Um, so apparently there was a Steelbook edition of this, but it was only available for the 4K edition. They saved it for the 4K release. And I just don't... I'm not planning to get a 4K TV anytime soon. Like, I really... I don't know. Like, I just... I'm not in a big rush to make the jump to 4K. And when I do, I want it to be something huge. Not just some paltry 55-inch piece of shit that you can't even see the difference on. Anyway, um... Resident Evil, the final chapter. So there you go. So apparently this is actually the final chapter. This is the concluding chapter of the six-movie cycle that Paul W.S. Anderson and Mila jo Jovovich uh, have been doing for the past, oh God, like almost 20 years. <laughs> um, you know, definitely guilty pleasure territory. A, a lot of people bitch and moan about them. It's like, oh, they're nothing like the video games. Like, actually, they're, they're enough like the video games. Quit your bitching and moaning. Uh, they're fun sci-fi action horror movies, and that's, that's really all you need. You know, let's see. Do we have different artwork? Nope. Same artwork on the slipcover. <sighs> like they really just kind of crapped out on this, uh, as far as not as far as screwing over us steelbook people who've been collecting on steelbooks all this time. Oh well, what can you do? Such is life. It goes on. Oh my God, interruptions up the yin yang. Oh, great, it's my mother. All right, an hour later. Yeah, it was my mom calling just for our weekly chit-chat. And then 10 seconds into the call, the call waiting beep goes off, and it's Annetta calling to talk to Rose. And then as I'm in the middle of talking to my mom, I accidentally hit something and started recording over the audio track for this video because I record the audio separately with the Yeti. The Yeti. And, uh... Luckily, I caught it in time. I just recorded over a little bit of the stuff that I cut out anyway, just of puttering around at the beginning. <coughs> and then, so I saved that, so just in case anything else happened, it would be saved. And then, um, I, I mean, I just, I just have a couple things left to do. And then uh, suddenly I get a notification from Windows saying, like, we've got updates for you. Restart now. I'm like, no, don't restart now. Restart when I'm damn well ready for you to restart. Anyway... Let's finish up this video before anything else happens. So, yeah, so apparently this is the last of the uh, six-movie cycle. It is officially over now. Uh, there is another Resident Evil movie in, in the planning stages, but it's going to be a whole new series. They're starting from square one, starting from scratch. So, hey, game fans, maybe you'll finally get one that's closer to the games uh, the way you want it to be. Who knows? Maybe it'll be even... And even farther to departure just to annoy you more. <laughs> oh, folks are funny. Anyway, what else did I get? Okay, well, as you know, uh, they've finally been putting 
these out on Blu-ray uh, at long last. So I picked up the one of the latest releases, Dracula, the Complete Legacy Collection. So as you know, I do have the original 2004 DVD releases of these, The um, you know many of which were double-sided discs. Uh, really been wanting to get these movies in high definition. We, of course, had the Universal Monsters Collection a while ago that had sort of the eight uh, big ones. But I wanted to get all the sequels as well. So this is great. Uh, the Dracula set. I picked up the Frankenstein set a while ago. I still need to get the uh, Mummy and Wolfman sets. Those are next on the list. Probably my next Amazon order. I'll grab those. Um, but this is great. It has... Um, it's got Dracula, Dracula's Daughter, Son of Dracula, House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula, Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein, and the 1931 Spanish version of Dracula, and a whole bunch of extras. So very, very nice indeed. Uh, there is some overlap. I talked about this back when the Frankenstein set came out. Uh, let's see. House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula, and Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein are all on the Frankenstein set as well. Um... So basically, I mean, if you're looking to collect just your one favorite monster, you can be assured of getting every single appearance. If you're collecting all the legacy sets like me, uh, then you're definitely going to have some overlap and some repetition. But, um, you know, honestly, I don't mind that they're doing it that way because, I mean, you're still getting four movies that aren't in any of the other sets. So that's still a pretty good deal considering these go for about 40 bucks each. So you're paying like 10 bucks a movie, basically. So if you crack it open, it's, uh, it's the same artwork inside uh if we crack it open here we have uh now the the uh some of the discs here are basically just uh repackages of previous releases such as the dracula disc here this is this is basically the same dracula disc that's been available in all the other blu-ray releases uh and then we got these ones you got dracula's daughter and son of dracula so you got the two direct sequels there uh house of frankenstein house of dracula on its own disc I think in the Frankenstein set, this has all three, including uh, uh, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. Uh, and then here we got Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein, which has also been released on its own before. But uh, I never got that one, so uh, pretty cool. Well, I guess I have it in the Frankenstein set as well. So anyway, very cool. Love these legacy collections. I'm hoping they put out the last two, namely uh, The Mummy and, or not The Mummy, The um, Invisible Man and The Creature from the Black Lagoon before Halloween, because I really want to re-watch all of these for Halloween this year. Uh, and then uh, last, but most certainly not least, speaking of Dracula, I got Dracula. <laughs> this, of course, is the Francis Ford Coppola version, uh, which I have not owned since I had it on Laserdisc many years ago, so... Uh, never had any of the DVD editions, so very nice. This is the uh, the uh, 4K remastered edition that came out recently, so this is the best it's ever looked. Um, really dull cover, to be honest. Like, it's just a still from the movie, like, whoop -de shit Let's not put too much effort into that, considering this is supposed to be the big deluxe edition, and I uh, got lots of cool extras on there. There's a new interview on here with Fran Francis Ford Coppola, apparently, and uh, also a commentary track with Francis Ford Coppola. You don't get that... Uh, very often uh you got actually two it looks like two commentaries um yeah you got a commentary track with francis for coppola visual effects director roman coppola and makeup supervisor greg canham and um and another audio commentary and film introduction with just francis for coppola so pretty cool so you get a lot of a lot of info from the man himself here um i i I, I guess I was never in any big rush to grab this one because uh, I've always had kind of mixed feelings about it. Um, visually, it's gorgeous. It's just a beautiful looking film and really brings the world of Dracula to life in uh, in quite you know a, a way that we've never really seen before. It's also a lot more faithful, I think, to the original book. Um, so, yeah, but in, in that respect, some some of the acting in it, I thought some of the actors I thought were kind of miscast, like. I love Keanu Reeves and Winona Ryder, but hearing them with their god-awful fake British accents just, it's painful. It's just kind of painful. And that, that really put me off uh, re-watching that one in the past. But uh, Gary Oldman, always amazing. Um, Anthony Hopkins, of course, always amazing. So, yeah, looking forward to uh, to seeing this one again after so long. 
So, yeah, there you go. So basically what the plan is this Halloween, uh, just to give you a little bit of a sneak peek, is to, uh, the main focus will be the Universal Monster movies. I reviewed a bunch of them before. I'm going to do more in-depth reviews this time. Um, and then in addition to that, I want to look at some of the other interpretations of those classic characters over the years or sort of related uh, movies. So this would obviously be one of them. Um, I also do have the 1979 Frank Langella Dracula, which I picked up a while back. Uh, so that would definitely be in the mix as well. All righty. Well, that is it for this uh, sci-fi horror Blu-ray update. Hope you all enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you next time. So thank you very much for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors. You guys and gals are awesome. Thank you for helping to keep the dream alive, and we'll see you all next time. So until then, thanks for watching, and sayonara. <laughs>